Anytime I'm planning a tour, you need to know what the avalanche problem is, and more importantly, where that avalanche problem exists. Using the Onyx Backcountry's slope aspect layer, it allows me to know what aspect, specific terrain features I'm looking at are in real time and where that avalanche problem might actually integrate itself into that area. All right, in order to access slope aspect, I'm gonna drop down my menu, the toggle on slope aspect. You'll see that it starts to color code this entire terrain area. Looking at this area, I can see that all the different features are all the different aspects are coded with different colors. In order to decipher exactly what color direction these terrain features are facing, I can open up the layer detail bubble. Looking at the layer detail bubble, it reminds me that the compass is aligned based on color. You'll see here that blue is north, orange is south, turquoise is east, and red is west. This helps me determine where the avalanche problems are and where the skiing might be good. Let's take this area in the Grand Teton National Park, 25 short. Relatively simple tour for most, often a back pocket day for higher avalanche danger, but the slope aspect layer allows you to see where the, where the undulations and terrain change greatly as it pertains to slope aspect. Over here, you can see that this terrain here is much more northeast facing, and this terrain down here is more south, southeast facing. Should you dip over in the other side here, you can see that this is much more northerly facing, much more challenging terrain to be playing in. And to be able to identify this from the comfort of your computer before you go into the field is incredibly valuable and keep you out of trouble. The slope aspect layer allows you to quickly identify those aspects the Avalanche Forecasting Center has identified to have instabilities. The tool is great because it allows you to do a great tour plan and know what areas to avoid before you go into the mountains.